Today Krishna. No questions, just talking. So my book, Vanity Karma, is recently published. It's a commentary on the biblical book of Ecclesiastes, a book of the Old Testament, written from the point of view of Bhagavad Gita. There have been several commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita from a Christian viewpoint, but this is the first time that a book of the Bible, as far as I know, has received a full-length commentary from the point of view of Vedic literature. Ecclesiastes is a valuable book because it raises essential questions. It asks, what's the benefit of working so hard in this world? What's the use? What profit is there in working day after day? Essentially, it asks what meaning there is in life. And the speaker really has a difficult time finding any at all. He pronounces life to be vain. Vanity means, in this context, uselessness, em emptiness, pointlessness. And his opening shot is that everything is useless, pointless. In the Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada comments that Arjun, at the outset of the battle, was feeling that way when he saw his friends and relatives arrayed against him on the battlefield, he asked, why am I here? And how can I undertake this ghastly war? And Prabhupada said that in such a situation, it's natural for a man to ask, why am I here? What is the point? Arjun was so distraught that he was ready to give up his life, better to die unresisting and unarmed on the battlefield and to fight with my friends and relatives. So essentially he's asking, what's the use? What's the point? What, what benefit? So these same questions are asked in the book of Ecclesiastes, and it therefore provides a suitable dialogue partner, as the term goes, or a suitable um, subject a suitable set of thoughts with which to converse from the point of the point of view of Bhagavad Gita. I'm essentially following the footsteps of Srila Prabhupada who had a series of talks with his secretaries about major philosophers in Western culture. Uh, Aristotle, Socrates, John Stuart Mill, Sartre, the whole range. And again, Prabhupada's purpose was to take major thinkers and address their thoughts from the point of view of Krishna consciousness. So the speaker of Ecclesiastes is certainly a major figure and his, his thoughts have lasted for mm, centuries and centuries. So in Vanity Karma, I take on his ideas. And the book is written for the benefit of those who are not familiar with Krishna consciousness. There have been many books written for the sake of devotees, and that's wonderful. This book is especially written to engage the non-devotees, to present the ideas of Krishna consciousness to them in a way that's understandable. And that's also direct. I don't hold back, it's not my style. I present the conclusions of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam quite strongly, I think, but in a matter that I hope that an intelligent person will appreciate. Badri Narayan Maharaj re remarked after reading the book, it's for people who think and it is. There are, among the non-devotees, people who are seeking meaning in life, people who are serious about spiritual realization, and the book is especially aimed at them.
although it's not written especially for scholars. Uh, scholars have given it a good reception. It's also gotten a good reception in interreligious uh, dialogue um, settings. So it can serve uh, many purposes. It's meant to be a, to provide an opportunity for extending the reach of the Krishna consciousness movement by speaking to non-devotees in terms of a book from their own um, culture.